So when they come for antenatal, we have different form of exercise for them. And that is why before you go for your palpation, you take them out. The palpation to easy form of exercise as it's well. It's just to see how you turn the baby, to make sure the baby is lying where it's in a very okay. normal position. Okay. Okay. At times I'll tell you that your baby is not properly positioned. Position. You see us trying to palpate mm. to move, you know, move the baby and the rest. So, like a lot of women, when they come for this antenatal, what do you tell them? Oh yeah, stand up, we'll carry them, walk around, you sing for them, you'll be dancing, you know, moving is a form of exercise. Then when you are at home, you don't just need to stay one place. Because your husband got you a car, you just want to get something in the supermarket, you start driving here and there. But there are some certain exercise as a pregnant woman, we don't encourage you to do it. Like, example you see like a three-story building a four-story building and there's an elevator we will not start telling you start crying no, no, no. so they will tell you let me do that so that my baby will come out faster as, as i will tell you let me tear fire will let me pound and all of those things your pelvic might not be that strong to hold your baby so but you see short distance you can trek to the market. It's not every time you have to start using bike, especially in your last trimester. It helps a lot. And it helps you, it helps we, the nurses and the midwife. You know, no, now we are talking about uh, pregnancy. If, if a woman does not exercise well enough, I see when you're in labor, those nurses will tell you, wake up and walk around. Start walking around. Yes. What you, does it do for the baby? See, I, I, I try to trace the pathophysiology for people. I tell them that if you're the type that don't do exercise, just imagine you kept something in your stomach one place it's not moving mm. it has to do with contraction some people will come within one hour one or 30 minutes they are asked yeah. from the labor room because the muscles that are holding the baby mm. together as you do exercise in your last trimester you see that that muscles they are breaking off it's just like this thing is holding this flower now mm. as you're trying some form of exercise they will tell you jump one two three one two as you're doing those muscles they are breaking off little by little mm. but where by those muscles they are holding the fetus together the person that is doing exercise and her own muscles are breaking you cannot compare with two that have been lying dormant when you is don't do anything. when did, when is d day the other person is faster it's faster you understand okay. Your husband will you pamper like you, you cannot cook, you don't, want to, you don't want to sweep, you don't want to do anything. You ah, understand? Yeah. That is when you come for labor. And I tell you, yeah, one hour, be trekking, be doing this, it's not always good. And you see this deep, deep breath in, out, is very good. Even when you come to the labor room, we mm. tell you, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe okay. in, it helps. You see, so that's the old person is dilating. <laughs> Pretty far, I would. Uh, it's not okay. good enough. It's not good, <laughs> But yes. it worked, though. It helps a <laughs> but lot. But it's not good. <laughs> it's not good, but it helps a lot. I, I, I am a testimony myself. Okay. Like my, my, my first son, I was still in school. I delivered at home without knowing I was in labor. Oh, wow. Are you serious? Yes. I had my baby at home. I never knew it was labor. My mother was never around. I was just struggling to tear firewood. You understand? So I told people, I do pound here. <laughs> I just came back from school. My mother was not around. I was just feeling some like so I said, ah, but the way women come to the hospital will be crying, shouting. I was waiting for that thing to happen oh. first. When I now okay, but you knew something was happening. It wasn't coming like labor. <laughs> it was coming well, like what? I just saw it like, it was, it, like a, a, a normal <laughs> pain. I was expecting that time that women they come around shouting. Okay. I realized that my labor for my first child, my second child, there was a very great difference. At a point, I was telling my mother, next time I will come to the village to stress myself. Because mm. I went through a lot for my second baby when I was not doing anything. But you see all those trying to pound the arm. Yeah. As you're Activity. going up, the baby is also, you see the baby even moving. If you do a lot of exercise, you see your baby moving as it is moving. The muscles are cutting off from the, those cords that are tying the baby. You see them coming out by They're itself. Reducing. That time okay. will be checking you, you're dilating 2CM, you're dilating 3. It will not go that way now because you've already done that on your 